All right, Alex, if you were made president today, no, please don't make me president today. Um, what actions would you take in Afghanistan to salvage the current situation? <laughs> you really shouldn't tempt me with questions like this. <laughs> I would invite the entire Taliban leadership to a peace conference and kill them all. <laughs> didn't, the king, didn't, didn't, didn't that happen in Braveheart where the King of England brought all the Scots there and he then slaughtered them all? Um, I would, I mean, I wouldn't literally do that, but I would basically, um, I would basically give the Taliban, uh, no, I wouldn't give the Taliban anything. I would basically annihilate them, and and that would basically uh, mean uh, I would immediately bomb, uh, you know, uh, uh, put enough ground troops at the airport to to protect, uh, to be able to defend whatever happens over there. And if that meant a hundred thousand troops, I'd bring in a hundred thousand troops. I would kill the Taliban in the presidential palace. I'd bomb the presidential palace out of existence, um, and I would I would then make clear to them uh, that we will go uh, house by house, road by road, and we would clear them out of Kabul and what it, whatever it would take, and that we would find every American. And if they hit, hurt one hair on one American anywhere in the country, we would hunt them down anywhere that they went, whatever cave they found. Uh, and we would tell the Pakistanis, if you let one Taliban across the border, uh, you know, we're coming after you. And yes, I know Pakistan has nukes. They can't deliver them to the United States. They wouldn't bomb Afghanistan with them. What are they going to do exactly? They're going to use their nukes. They're going to waste them. I mean, they're saving them to use in India. They're going to use them in the U.S. They, forget it. It's, an, it's not happening. They would cower. They would drop to their knees and ask for forgiveness. So I would go house by house. I would find every American there. Uh, and, and of course, you would have to find, you would have to do this right, right? You would have to, you would have to stealthily put special forces into all kinds of places within Kabul, so uh, they, you know, they wouldn't start killing Americans before you had the opportunity to get there. But you would make it very clear what would happen to them if they started killing Americans if they touched them, and you would basically go in, and you would, uh, I would, just do whatever was necessary to destroy. The Taliban, ISIS, I don't know if you know, but ISIS in Afghanistan is now threatening the Americans in the airport. So they're, they're all panicking because of ISIS. Uh, you know, we have we have satellites above Afghanistan. We have satellites above every place in the world that can basically find a needle in a haystack. I mean, not quite, but almost, right? You can see somebody's driver's license if that's what you really want to see. And we have drones all over the skies there. Don't tell me we can't find these bastards and kill them and just take them out of existence. Systematically, thoroughly, whatever it takes. Yes, they'll go into hiding, they'll adapt into the civilian population. Okay, well then some civilians are going to die. Some civilians are going to die. Uh, we take out their, tele their communication networks. We take out, I would take out the entire cell phone network in Afghanistan, make it impossible for them to communicate. They don't have anything more sophisticated. They, they, they're probably not, they don't have satellites. Make it so it's impossible for them to defend themselves and then crush them and then rally anybody who wants to leave Afghanistan and, and get them out of there and bring them home. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. 
But but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this, uh, and and you know the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.